and therefore uh, it was a real moment for South Africans to look back in their brutal past, the scars that we bear, and be able to come out into the streets celebrating that victory. And it cannot be watered down and be compared to a wedding. And anyone, for that matter, anyone's wedding, it cannot be reduced to that. Uh, this is why for us, uh, this has been a surprise that uh, uh, the uh, royal couple, or at least uh, Meghan Markle, can regard a wedding to be something similar to Madiba's release. Nelson Mandela's grandson has slammed Meghan Markle for suggesting her marriage to Prince Harry brought so much joy in South Africa as it reminded people of the 1999 release of Nelson Mandela after 27 years in jail, saying it can never be compared to the celebration of someone's wedding. This comes after Meghan Markle made remarks in a recent interview. She said, A Lion King cast member from South Africa told her that when I married Prince Harry, people rejoiced in the streets of African nation, similarly to when the anti apartheid leader Nelson Mandela was freed from prison. But just a day after the publication of the story, Dr. John Khan, who is the only South African to have voiced as Rafiki in The Lion King, said he was the only South African member of the cast and he had never met Megan. Megan's claims sparked rage and ridicule with critics telling her to get lost and accusing her of undermining what Nelson Mandela did to South Africans. Mandela Mandela has said he was surprised at her remarks after she claimed that three years ago a cast member of Lion King had made the comparison between a royal wedding and Madiba's historic walk to freedom. He said, I quote, Madiba's celebration was based on overcoming 350 years of colonialism with 60 years of a brutal apartheid regime in South Africa. So it cannot be equated to as the same. Every day there are people who want to be Nelson Mandela, either comparing themselves with him or wanting to emulate him. But before people can regard themselves as Nelson Mandela, they should be looking into the work that he did and be able to be champions and advocates of the work that he himself championed. My advice to everyone is to live the life Nelson Mandela lived and support the cause he supported. That is the ultimate litmus test. What is the value of people dancing in the street and chanting President Nelson Mandela's name when what they stand for is diametrically opposed to what he stood for? Nelson Mandela's release from prison was the culmination of nearly 350 years of struggle in which generations of our people paid with their lives. It can never be compared to the celebration of someone's wedding. I think uh, for us, uh, first, uh, our struggle for liberation was a culmination of many generations over uh, almost uh, four centuries, that being uh, 350 years of colonialism, coupled with 60 years of a brutal apartheid regime in South Africa. And therefore, witnessing and seeing Madiba being released on the 11th of February 1990 was a real celebration of having been able to overcome our colonial power, powers, but also overcome the brutal apartheid regime. And therefore, uh, it was a real moment for South Africans to look back in their brutal past, the scars that we bear, and be able to come out into the streets celebrating that victory. And it cannot be watered down and be compared to a wedding. And anyone, for that matter, anyone's wedding, it cannot be reduced to that. Uh, this is why for us, uh, this has been a surprise that uh, uh, the uh, royal couple, or at least uh, Meghan Markle, can regard a wedding to be something similar to Madiba's release. There was uh, not uh, any celebration that uh, you would have seen at a large scale as we could compare to Madiba's release, and I think... Uh, I've said on numerous occasions that if we are to even compare Madiba's release to anything, would be to the abolishment of slavery in 1836. And that is the only thing we can somewhat surmount what our struggle for liberation celebration could be compared to. But uh, we as Africans will celebrate a marriage because a union 
is a, a, a truly blessing and it's a real uh, anchor of any family. But I think it's also worrisome that uh, it is coined as a marriage to a white prince. You would know that our struggle for liberation was non-racial and non-sexist. And therefore, we can never uh, regard any marriage on racial lines uh, because our struggle was a non-racial base. And therefore, this is what Madiba dedicated 67 years of his life uh, serving humanity, of which 27 years of his life were incarceration for the strong beliefs he believes he held on a, a, a non-racism as well as a non-sexism. That's all that we have for now. Until the next time, please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Peace. Peace.